Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about multi-step problems involving multiplication of decimals. We have an example here. Jared saved 160 pesos and 50 centavos. Grace saved twice as much. Santi saved twice as much as Gray. How much money do they save in all? We will solve this problem using block model approach because it's easier for our students to visualize because many of them are visual learners. So let us start. Let's first have Jared. Jared has 160 pesos and 50 centavos. We'll be making a box. And what's inside the box is 160 pesos and 50 centavos. Let's do that. 160 pesos and 50 centavos. Next, let's have gray. Let's have gray. And he has twice as much as Jared. So let's have two boxes. And what's inside is also 160 pesos and 50 centavos each. Now let us have Santi. Santi here has thrice as much as Gray. So if Gray has two boxes with 160 pesos in each box, we need to make it triple. So it means he has six boxes all in all. Let's do that. Now we'll have 160 pesos and 50 centavos in each box. Based on the problem, we need to find the total money they saved in all. So we have to know how much did Gray save and how much did Santi save. So whatever is their money, we'll just add it to Jared. Okay, let's solve first for Gray. How much will that be? Mm-hmm. So Jared has 160 pesos and 50 centavos. Now let's solve for Gray's money. We'll just multiply 160 pesos and 50 centavos times 2. Okay, let's do that. 160 pesos and 50 centavos times 2. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 2 times 5 is equal to 10, right? 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Last one is 1. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 2 times 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. How many decimal places do we have here? We have 2 decimal places so that will reflect also in our product. That's going to be 1 and 2. So our decimal point is there. So it means gray saved 321 pesos so we can also say that this one is 321 pesos same as through with this and this and this one in order to know the money saved by Santi is to just multiply 321 times 3 and let's do that Red. 21 pesos times 3 3 times 1 is equal to 3 3 times 2 is equal to 6 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and it means Santi saved 963 pesos now we are ready to add this money that they saved let's do that 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 5 plus 0 plus 0, that's 5. Then copy decimal point. Then we will add 0 plus 1 is 1 plus 3 is 4. Next, 6 plus 2 is 8 plus 6 is 14. Next, carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 9 is 14. We'll write 14 here. So, our final answer would be 
1,444 pesos and 50 centavos. This is the amount saved by the three boys. And that's it. Another example. Jana bought 6 and 7,500 kilograms of flour at 32 pesos per kilo. She also bought 2 kilograms less than twice of baking soda than flour, which is 18 pesos per kilo. How much will her change be if she gave the cashier 500 pesos? We can make use of block model approach to understand and visualize this problem. Now let's have the flour with 6 and 7500 inside the box. Let's have the baking powder. It says there it's 2 kilograms less than twice of baking soda. It means we have to write first two boxes. It's one and two. We'll have six and five in one box. We cannot write six and seventy-five hundreds on the second box because it still needs two more kilograms in order for it to be twice as many baking powder than the flour. So what we can do is we may write two inside the box in green. It means it was not bought by Jana. What we will write here, the other side of the box is four and seventy-five hundreds. Why is that so? Because the total number that we can have in the box is six and seventy-five hundreds. If you're going to add four and seventy-five hundreds and two is equivalent to six and seventy-five hundreds. So the one in yellow are the number of kilograms that Jana bought. So we want to know how much is this. So we'll add 6 and 75 hundreds and 4 and 75 hundreds. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Write 0 here. Carry 1 at the top of 7. 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Write 5 here. Carry 1 at the top of 6. Copy the decimal point. Next, 6 plus 4 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. We can say that Mananjana bought 11 and 50 hundreds kilograms of baking powder. We are not done yet. We still need to multiply the following numbers. 6 and 75 hundreds to 32 pesos and 11 and 50 hundreds to 18 pesos so that we can get the total amount of money spent by Jan. Let us have first the flour that's 6 and 75 hundreds times 32. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Write 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 7. 2 times 7 is equal to 14 plus 1 is 15. Write 5 here, carry 1 at the top of 6. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Carry 1 at the top of 7. 7 times 3 is equal to 21 plus 2 is 22. Carry 1 at the top of 6. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2, that's 20. Let's add. Bring down 0. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Carry 1 at the top of 3. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. 1 plus 0 is 1 and then bring down 2. We have two decimal places here in our factor so that will also be reflected in our product. So it's going to be 1 and 2. Our decimal point is here. It means Mananjana spent 216 pesos for the flour. We're ready to multiply 11 and 50 hundreds to 18. 0 times 8 is equal to 0. 8 times 5 is equal to 40. Write 0 here. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 8 times 1 is equal to 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Write 2 here. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 8 times 1 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Next, 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. Let's add. Bring down 0, 0, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, 
carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And Jana spent 207 pesos for the baking powder. Now let us add 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Copy decimal point. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. By 3 here, carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 0 is 2. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. And Jana spent a total of 423 pesos for the flour and the baking soda. This is not yet the final answer because we are looking for the change that Jana will have after paying the cashier 500 pesos. So we have to subtract 423 from 500 pesos. So let's have that 500 pesos minus 423 pesos. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Copy decimal point. 0 minus 3 cannot be. We cannot also borrow from another 0. So we'll borrow from 5. 5 will become 4. This 0 will become 9. And this 0 will become 10. 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. And 4 minus 4 is 0. No need to write that. Jana will have a change of... 77 pesos from the cashier after paying 500 pesos at last we're done don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful till next time